This year's clothing drive has been a huge success here at the Duty Desk Toronto Police Headquarters. We've collected so many coats for the homeless. It's uh, our annual uh, event. Uh, we've been doing it for a little over six years now. And we were overwhelmed with uh, the generosity of people in our building, from the public who came by. Really, really great. Oh, this year for sure, with all the coldness that we've had out there, the weather change, it's been the, I think the coldest of winter in a while, but they're such a need this year. Not only uh, with the coats, but also scarves. We had hats, uh, gloves. We were shocked by the amount of gloves people just donated and they were all grateful to uh, receive them. I would have to say it's been a tremendous uh, response from officers and civilians alike within the building bringing their stuff in. We've got a number of coats today. I, I would have to say we've probably collected over 250, 300 coats. What we've got is certainly substantial to uh, help a, a few of the shelters out. We're going to be taking the coats and other items of clothing to Covenant House, to Haven, as well as women's res and uh, there's a few uh, women and children facilities here throughout Toronto that we're going to be uh, taking the, the smaller coats and articles to. This is a very bad winter so any items of, uh, of clothing, warmth, Jackets, boots, toques, hats uh, actually make a huge difference. You know, they can be the difference between life and death for some guys. So it's much appreciated. It's absolutely been the worst year in history for people who are homeless in the city of Toronto. Just by comparison, in 1972, there were less than a thousand people homeless in the city of Toronto. This year, in shelters and these warming centers and drop-in centers, there's going to be 7,000 people. So the problem in our city is getting worse. The weather hasn't helped, uh, but the state of homelessness in this city is in a crisis. Can you imagine being in your 60s or your 70s and sleeping outside in any kind of condition? I, I don't think most people really understand the scope of the problem in this city. So Haven Toronto has been around since 1933 in the downtown east side, and we serve older homeless men and marginally and socially isolated older men. Uh, we provide a place for them to come that's safe, that's warm, welcoming. We provide food, we have counseling, we have uh, dental hygienists so they can take care of their oral health. We have nurses who come in and visit the men and we try and support them and get them housing. Well, here at Covenant House, uh, we're the Canada's largest uh, agency uh, providing services and programs to uh, youth who are at risk who are homeless and also who are victims of sex trafficking. Um, we provide a wide variety of, uh, of uh, programs and services. So this winter has been particularly cold and that's why this amazing donation from Toronto Police Services is really, really appreciated and really, really needed. Uh, there might be uh, circumstances where youth don't actually have a warm enough coat, so they come to us and we'll be able to provide them with a coat now that it's been donated to us. We really do appreciate that. We have an absolutely amazing relationship with Toronto Police. Uh, Chief Saunders actually sits on our board of directors. He actually participates in our sleep out events and uh, the officers are absolutely fantastic. They're a wonderful, wonderful partner with our organization. They're huge supporters and they really do help us out in a number of ways. We are going to be doing this again next year. We would really appreciate anybody, uh, if you want to drop coats here at headquarters, we'd be more than grateful, but uh, guaranteed we're going to do it again next year. And hats, gloves, scarves, coats, all good. It would be great if Torontonians uh, could make a, a donation to the shelters or to the United Way. It would be most, most appreciated.